Okay, good morning class. Please all stand up for the prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So again, good morning. So before you take your seat, please erase your chairs first. And please pick up the pieces of paper. And class monitor, who is absent for today? Okay, very good. Nobody is upset. So are you ready for our lesson for today? Then you should be. So let's all start by answering this activity first. So this activity is called What's the Opposite? So what you are going to do is to determine the opposite words from the given word here. And after that, we will also determine the mathematical sign which relates to this term here. Okay? So are you ready? So who wants to answer number one? So what is the opposite of cold? Yes, Anna. Very good. So the opposite of cold is warm. So how about down? Who wants to answer? Yes, Ben. Very good. The opposite of down is up. So how about north? Are you familiar with north? Who wants to answer? Yes, Crescent. Okay, very good. So the opposite of north is south. So if you are not familiar, just um, refer to this following symbol or diagram here. So here's our north, our south is in here. So now let's proceed to determining the mathematical sign. So when we say sign, the positive or negative sign. So for cold and warm, what do you think is the positive and the negative sign? Yes. Okay, very good. So cold from the word cold, so the temperature is decreasing. So meaning it is negative. Very good. So how about warm? So the temperature is, yes, increasing. Very good. So it is positive. Okay, so number two. How about down? So still it is decreasing. The direction is going down. So meaning it is negative. Okay. So how about up? So the opposite of negative is positive. So now for the north. So let's um, refer to this uh, diagram here. So north is, as you can see, it is going up. Right? So what do you think is the sign? Yes, very good. It is positive. And the sound, since it is going down, then is negative. So, from this activity, what do you think is our lesson for today? Anybody? Yes, Anna. Yes, very good. So, our topic is about integers. So, specifically, comparing and ordering integers. So, so all together, let's read our objectives. So, at the end of the lesson, the students are expected to A. Compare integers B. Write integers in ascending or descending order and C. Share one's experience where comparing and ordering is being applied in real life situation. Okay, now, let's proceed to our discussion. And 
the zero is the center. So remember that zero here is neither positive or negative. So again, we cannot conclude that a zero is a positive number or a negative number. Okay? Okay, very good. So as you can see here, so this number line um, tells us which number has a greater value. So the one in the right, which is the positive integer, is always greater than the, the one in the left. So again, when the number is negative, then the value also is what? Yes, decreasing or it has a less value than the positive one. Okay, are you clear, class? Did you get my point? Okay, very good. So I have here an example. Negative 
teachers. So number three. So negative two and eight. Okay, very good. So it is up greater than. And number four is less than. So, okay, so any questions? So none so far. Okay, so um, in your daily life, um, have you tried comparing yourself to others? Huh? Anyone here? So yes, we sometimes compare ourselves to others, especially in, for example, our hair. If your classmate's hair is longer than your hair, or if um, your um, uniform is wider than your classmate's uniform. So we tend to compare ourselves, just like in teachers. So in, in teachers also, we are also comparing here and we are also ordering in teachers. So, I want you to get a one half size, a cross wide size of paper and please answer the activities here. And I will give you 10 minutes to answer. Okay, time is up, please. Um, yeah, please submit your paper in front. Okay, thank you. So, uh, do you have any questions so far? Okay, very good. So, uh, for your um, assignment, since uh, we don't have enough time already, so I want you to um, research in advance the um, addition of integers, okay? Okay, so that's all. Goodbye, class. Goodbye. Goodbye.